Hi guys, back again. Uh, you'll remember on the last video I was uh, trying to determine exactly what happened, <laughs> where that hot melt glue came from on the, uh, the 962. Oops, sorry about that. A bit close to this. I have since reassembled it. You'll remember that uh, rectangular shaped piece of loose metal that was uh, in this drawer assembly. I've actually now siliconed that in place. Uh, Sean on YouTube mentioned uh, using a different silicon on the glass to the you know the silicon that's already used may have caused a uh, thermal expansion issue with the glass but uh, this has been through a test cycle now and uh, no problems whatsoever uh, so really the next stage will be to fit the uh, the ES technical upgrade and I did attempt a video on this last week and got about 10 minutes in and stuffed it up so we're going to have a, another bash. Um, I was saying in the previous video that I didn't upload that I, was, I had gone through very carefully the instructions and uh, there don't seem to be any particular issues. The only one that uh, might prove a little tricky for some people is you obviously have to drill a hole and cut a rectangle out of the side of the lid. Obviously you can get a special drill that size. The rectangle, I suspect I'm going to have to drill that out uh, and then file it manually to shape. That's for the um, thermocouple socket and uh, obviously the USB connection. This is a really nice piece of kit as I mentioned before. It's a Neutrik uh, German made uh, piece of gear. If you look closely you'll see you've got one USB type that end and another that end and the really nice thing about this is there's two screws there. You can take those screws out lift out this ring that uh, has got a little locating uh, pin here and you can pull this out turn it around and push it back in and obviously reversing the connection uh, so it's yeah, a really really nice uh, socket plug whatever you want to call it um, so yes i think i shall uh, i don't think i've got the right size cutter for the uh, for that I think it is where are we uh, final size is 24 mil and then two two mil screw holes so uh, yeah I think I'll rather than faff around I'll just go and buy a uh, metal cutting hole drill bit and uh, cut that and do the rectangle with uh, some drills, smaller drills and a file. As I say, I'd gone through this quite thoroughly last week and uh, didn't see any particular issues. Uh, I think something I did see is this, is this kind of extensive use of hot melt glue on the original PCB and because you're going to need to unplug the various connections you're going to need to take this hot melt uh, glue off. Now if it doesn't happen to come off cleanly the, the easiest way for engineers to do it is just to spray the hot melt glue with, uh, uh, with freezer spray um, and then it will just uh, snap off. If you haven't got freezer spray you know, just be careful uh, in removing that hot melt glue. There are some mention of uh, other components that you would need to apply hot melt glue to on the assembling side. I can't remember how much I re-read this a few minutes ago but I didn't. Um, but I suspect uh, rather than using hot melt glue I will just use some uh, silicon and uh, just allow it to go off over uh, night. There is this use of uh, uh, masking tape on the machine which uh, I have absolutely no idea why anyone would think using masking tape was a smart idea from uh, from, a, uh, from the factory. <laughs> the rest of it seems very nicely wrapped in uh, silver foil and uh, I do actually have a, royal, a, royal, a roll of uh, 
silver foil with adhesive and um, rather than use the Captain tape that is supplied they may well use uh, that silver foil so it matches the rest of the unit but there's a whole roll of uh, Captain tape supplied for you to cover this area uh, as required and uh, yeah you can see a picture of it there where it's been applied Actually, it looks like uh, silver foil is underneath that. So, um, yeah, if you look here, I didn't spot that before. I have no idea why that masking tape is there in that case, because when you peel it off carefully, there's actually the foil tape underneath. So, why would they use masking tape? Um, yeah, I guess it's just to, they were trying to stop the heat from going through. No idea. So in that case I will be using the Captain tape, not the silver foil tape that I've got. It's obviously uh, doing a different task to what I thought originally. Uh, the rest of it, yeah, still seems pretty straightforward. Uh, as I said, there's a, we'll be using silicon. There's a little bit of soldering uh, to do uh, the fan wire connection, uh, but really nothing too troublesome. There's an optional stage here, uh, the cable from the 9 volt transformer. Uh, there's uh, optionally fit bootlace furrows uh, to the end of the wire, not supplied. Um, I think it probably would have been nice just to include those uh, in, the, in the kit because why wouldn't you want to make it look really nice uh, like they show in the picture there. Um, but they're only going into the connector here, so it's not a massive issue. Uh, but it just looks nice, and if you've gone to the extent of making such a fantastic kit up with everything, it probably would be nice just to include those. Um, you yeah, know, you can see there's some wire there where they're actually fitted, but I don't think there's any, you know, there's no spare ones in there. So yeah, a couple more of those I think would have been a nice touch to go on the transformer wire. And then there's information on how to uh, check this, uh, the insulation, make sure all the wiring has been done correctly. I'm actually going to pat test this uh, before we uh, do any modifications and then we'll obviously pat test it afterwards. Uh, and at the back we've got the initial uh, testing, troubleshooting, how to set up uh, and use the reflow uh, and calibration, uh, you know, the profile testing. That's what this uh, other thermocouple is for. So, yeah, lots and lots of notes here. Uh, you can adjust the fans, idle speed, just, just, uh, just excellent. So, hopefully, we're going to get a, get on with this over the next uh, week, possibly tomorrow. Uh, but more likely it'll be next weekend when I've bought the, uh, the correct drill bit for uh, for this. So yeah, really looking forward to getting on with this. I know it's been a couple of months and that was not the intention. I really intended to get this done uh, as quickly as possible, but this doesn't always work out <laughs> that way. And uh, yeah, it hasn't done in this case either. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll update you with uh, what I'll probably do is record some steps, uh, certainly taking it apart and having a look, and, uh, and then probably a, a number of short clips on uh, the various stages and any particular bits I thought were very good, any bits that are troublesome, and how to get around that. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Catch you later.